Valley and Richland Drive are sort of the overlooked middle child of getting up Norton Summit. They're not as cool as Norton Summit Road, and they're not as tough as Coach House Drive and Woodland Way, but, you know, they have a lot to offer, so I'm going to show them some love. On paper, we have 2.1Ks at about 8%, but you do drop down a little bit during the climb, so it's a lot harder than that. Especially this nasty ramp to kick it off. Ugh. Drag yourself up it and around the corner and you'll be rewarded with a little flattish section. Hey, you've earned it, buddy. But it won't be long before you're occupying Ramp Town again. This nasty little bastard will take away all of your momentum and make you regret changing up a couple of gears. Once you've rolled over the top, you're going to hit that descent I mentioned earlier. And now it's time for a public service announcement. You are now flying towards a tier intersection, and I strongly recommend using your brakes. I didn't once, and I nearly made BFFs with the front of someone's car. The driver of which certainly did not want to make BFFs with me. Anyway, you are going uphill again, and heading towards another candidate for Adelaide's best switchbacks. They're not exactly Knox and McBeath level, but they're pretty bloody nice. If not pretty bloody steep. Ugh, oh, these switchbacks are distractingly pretty. Back to business. Uh, Richland Drive is pretty damn steep. If you go by the full length of the road, it averages 11%, which is nasty. And it's all pretty straight. You just kind of grind your way through it. So please, sit back and enjoy 10-ish seconds of sped up bike footage set to piano music. Don't worry, I'll be back. This sign here signals the beginning of the end of this horrible drag. Just go up and around the corner and you're finished. As always, thanks for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe. And I hope I've infected your brain with the entertainer.